Hello everyone, it's Daryl, and today I wanted to show you a little gift I bought for myself, a new wristwatch. And I love watches. I haven't really worn many in recent years, but because I work on the line at work and I too much danger of getting them scratched, but now that I got the promotion where I'm not tied to the assembly line, I do a lot more clerical and office type work than I used to, I started wearing a watch again. And I really enjoy the feeling of having a watch on my wrist. It's so much more convenient to glance down to see what time it is than it is to keep looking at your phone all the time. At least I think so. And watches are kind of like actually in style right now. A lot of people are wearing them just as a fashion statement. So I got out my old Seiko A257 digital watch. I've been wearing that, which I really like. And it's from 1980, I believe. I have a couple other older wristwatches I enjoy wearing, but I decided it was time to increase my variety a little and I saw this one on eBay that really intrigued me and it's directly from the Casio store they have a online shop on eBay where they sell their watches we're going to unbox it here and what well, kind of unbox I've already had it open but I wanted to show you how it comes packed I got this watch this really lovely digital Casio for less than $24 on eBay and let me show you it comes in this really nice box and it's packaged well i flip that down, we're going to lift this up, and then we're going to get a good look at it in the package. Look at that. Get a better look right here. Better lighting, maybe. That's a Casio. It's got an inset on the top left corner, which is an actual analog type clock that goes around, including a second hand. And then, of course, it has the digital display down here in the center, where it's automatic daylight savings time, AM, PM tells the day and the date and then a time zone indicator which tells you which time zone you're in in the world and it has five different time zones you can set on here a stopwatch function of course with lap counter first and second place finishing an adjustable light you touch the top right button and the light comes on and you can set that for either stay on for either one second or three seconds and the factory installed battery is rated at 10 years, which is amazing. But the other thing is for 24 bucks, you're going to be impressed with how nice it is. We're going to slide that out and slide it off. That genuine stainless steel band or bracelet, as the people in the watch industry like to call these kind of linked metal bands. It comes with this, the basic stand and the details about it. 100 millimeters, 100 meters water resistant. They say you can't go scuba diving with it. Although, yeah, I bet if you're just a casual like snorkel or shallow diver up to 20, 25 feet, I'm betting it would be okay. So we're going to put that back in there and put that away and concentrate on the watch itself now. But here you go. I say it's, it's a, just a really nice design, I think. 42 millimeters, so it's a really good size. It matches the large size style that's popular today. The back is stainless steel too. Now the only downside of it is the actual case itself around here is a resin plastic material. Which doesn't really bother me at all, but some people may be put off by that. But for a $24 watch, that doesn't bother me. The only thing is the face of the watch is a nice shiny soft acrylic. And that is fairly easy to scratch. Light scratches are also very easy to buff out. So. There's a plus and minus to that, but it's uh, the band is what's really nice. This is just as nice of a band as you're going to find on any Seiko watch or other quality timepiece. It even has the little tabs on the side to lock it into place. It's got four different fine adjustments for the band length by moving the there you go. By moving the pins from the position it's in right there to the back position, it'll take out maybe a half inch of slack in the size of the band. And then each side of the band in the inside has, I believe it's four adjusting links. So you can use a fine little tool and push the adjusting link out and actually remove whole links of the bracelet if it's too big for your wrist. And you take this and adjust it down to a much smaller size. But... It fits me pretty good right out of the box. Realistically, I mean, it's, it's a little loose. I could probably 
use the fine adjustment to take out a little bit of that play, but I don't like a watch real tight, so I say I just I love the style of this, I love how it looks, I love the weight of it on my arm. I just really the perfect $24 watch. I mean, I can't say enough good things about this. And if you like digital watches, if you like something that looks a little bit retro but also has a modern style to it, I think you'd be really happy with this Casio watch, which is a model number. Hang on, let's get it here. AE1200 WHD. And the AE1200 refers to basically the face style and the overall style of the watch. There's uh, several different models of this. Some of them have the uh, different locations of the different parts of the display. So you can look at the Casio watches and see which ones you like, where the, how the layout is on the face. But they're all very similar. They all have the same kind of guts in them, the same uh, bracelet, unless you go with a fa fiber bracelet. They also make a fabric bracelet if you're not into the stainless steel. And those are actually a few dollars less expensive than this watch was, which is hard to believe. But, so, um, Casio watch, highly recommended as an option for a daily wear watch that's well-built, stylish, and pretty darn cool. Check it out on eBay or Casio.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.